This is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com at the 2020 AACA East Coast Nationals. Now this show is not open to the public generally. That's why you did not find it on the calendar. Uh, with these strange times of 2020, and you can hear my voice is muffled uh, because of the mask, we have to make allowances. But this way, this is open up to the AACA membership. Another great reason to become a member. We're checking out, meanwhile, let's get back to this 58 Buick. This is a century wagon, a century. A little bit over 4,000 were built, that was it. I've got to point out, this is Buick 50s to the nth degree. Every single little square individual The double bullets down the fenders. Look at these side view mirrors. Is that cool or what? And of course, the hardtop design in a wagon, which is outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. I'll show you the interior in a few minutes. Just beautiful. Look at those spirit lines. Now, This is the Caballero, so we've got that. Check this out, a state wagon across the back. I love the fuel. Can we take a look inside? Yeah, what do you want to look at? If you could open the front door, that'd be wonderful. Now this is a, oh sure. These are the details I love. Look at the sentry across there. Now one thing which is surprising is that it does not have full power. Look at those ribs. In wagons, always check. Is that beautiful? I'll show you down. Now look at the way how the second seat folds down. But no, there is no third seat. Now that's um, spare tire underneath, correct? Yep, correct. Oh, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. My gosh. This is fantastic. Fantastic. This is such of a rare tree. Now, the one thing which I like, all of the notices up there, you think that it was uh, before? Half open position, full open position. You can see the latches on there. Look at how the hinges are arranged. This is such a striking, beautiful, beautiful automobile. <laughs> Look at that. This is beautiful. This piece here is really thin. It's been welded and repaired, and the plater said that's the best I can do. So you see a couple one. of things in it. Yep. Yeah. yeah, it's actually wow. rippling because of the thickness. And he said, I, I can't, that's the best I can do with this part. He says, if you find another part, bring it, and I'll plate it for free. But that's the best I can do. He tried like three times. Yeah, I can see it. Are the okay, taillights, little... oh, I'm sorry. No, it's on the bumper under No, are the taillights unique yeah. to the wagon? No, no, it's the okay. stand. This this part is the same for a special and a century. Right. Um, this is what's unique to the wagon. The, the fin is gotcha. different on the wagon than all the rest. And you are looking for one, so anyone finding if one... Anybody find that piece, I'm looking for one. Yeah. You got it. Yep. This is beautiful. Now, you found this in um, New, Santa Fe, New Mexico. Santa Fe, New Mexico. It was posted on the station wagon forums as a... 58 Buick Caballero, any suggestions? Somebody who was a friend of a friend of a guy on the station wagon forum who was just looking to get it out of his backyard. Oh my gosh, <laughs> unbelievable. And you're lucky with the glass. Yeah, yeah, the back glass was in the car. Everything else was gone, but the back glass was there. The you can't buy get, that. Right? You can't get it. There are no, there aren't, yeah, you have to find one out of a parts car or somebody who's been squirreling one away for 50 years. What's under the hood? Uh, original engine, a 364 nail head, four barrel. Very Three, good. 300 horse, 400 foot pounds of torque. It's ah. a Dynaflow transmission, um, and the original torque tube drivetrain. It's all it's all the original stuff. Transmission's this, a, from a different car, but it's all correct 58 stuff. This is great. This is great. Thank you. Thank you very much for showing us around. Now, what do, what do you like most about this car, by the way? Um. I guess two things. I really like all the jet age stuff that's on it. Yeah. And I love the color. I think the colors are just perfect.
perfect on the car. Yes. I like the colors and I like the Jet H styling of everything on it. Oh, it is just the ultimate 50s car. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> wretched yes. Yes. Yep. Yeah, I was looking at the grill with every single little square. Yep. Absolutely mind boggling. 60 squares. Gee. <laughs> Ask how me how I know. <laughs> you polish each and every one, you hey? You clean them. Yep. 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 Oh, gosh. How much was the car new? Oh, you know, I don't, I think it was uh, around. I think it was in the four thousand or forty-two hundred dollar neighborhood. Mm. It was the like the second most expensive Buick. I think a maybe a Roadmaster convertible was more or something. Yeah. There's only like one car that was more more pricey than the Cavalier wagon. In yeah. Oh it was my a, gosh. It was an expensive car. That's for sure. Yep. Yep. Oh, this is beautiful. Thank you. Oh, thank you very much. Yep. Take care. Thank you. Again, this is Pam from NortheastWheelsEvents.com at the 2020 AACA East Coast Nationals. Again, this is a private event, unfortunately so, but we could still enjoy. That's why you come to NortheastWheelsEvents.com. So, make sure you post your events on NortheastWheelsEvents.com, SoutheastWheelsEvents.com, UKWheelsEvents.com, and while you're there, post and share your events. Oh, I see that. I said that already. See you at the shows.